Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one I finally get to use my new builder gels from Kiki London. So I'm not going to use the clear one today, I'm going to use the milky white and the powder blush which is the pink. And as you can see I've already done my thumb because I was just having a little test and it turned out absolutely perfect. I am so happy with these gels, they are amazing to work with. Um, the colours are really gorgeous but not just that the consistency the self leveling they're just i think they're the best gels that i've used so far so i'm going to put some tips on my other nails now and to stick them on i'm not going to use glue i'm just going to use base coat and this is my new sort of favorite method to do it it is a bit fiddly but i've not had any tips come off this way so i'm just using my little lamp just to secure those in place and then I do put them in my big lamp for a full cure at the end so I'm doing that on the four fingers that I've not already done yet so as usual if you did like this video please give it a like and if you're not already a subscriber why not subscribe I'd love to have you here on my channel and then you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video if you click on the notification bell and also all the links to everything that I've used in this video will be in the description box along with any discount codes that I have. I'm just going in with the Kiki London Primer and this is the first time I'm using this because I got this at the same time as I got the gels. And then I'm using the base coat and I'm just going over the nail bed area of the the nail. You don't need to put the base coat on the tips, you can if you want to but I didn't this time. I do just go over where the tip joins the nail just so that there isn't that much of a, a ridge there. So then I'm using the round brush from Kiki London and I'm really happy with this brush because the head of it is quite a lot smaller than a normal gel brush so it means that I can get into all the gaps that I need to. So I'm using the powder blush first and I'm going to do a reverse French so I'm going to do the nail bed first. So I just need to make the shape of the nail bed just with a very thin coat of this gel. So I do that first and then I cure that for 60 seconds and then I go in again and I just put another bead on and I just cover up where I've put that nail bed shape. Now because this coat is a little bit thicker I do need to come in at the end and just um, tidy up that shape with my um, clean up brush. So you can see that I have actually put two small size beads onto this nail bed. And then I'm just sort of feathering it down but I'm keeping it quite pointed at the end because I do want this to be quite a deep smile line. So when I've cleaned that up and I'm happy with the shape I'm going to cure that again for 60 seconds. And then I'm going in with a third layer. So because this brush head is quite small, I didn't need to use a detailer brush like I usually do to go along the edges. And also because the smile line is quite deep, I'm not going all the way up the side walls with the powder blush like I normally would do. After I've done the three layers on the pointer finger, I'm then going in on the middle finger and I'm doing exactly the same thing, but I have sped this up a bit more so it is a bit faster. So I just basically do the nail bed first with a thin layer, getting sort of the shape that I want. We are going to file these nail beds into shape so they don't need to be that perfect. But the better your application is when you're doing the gel, the easier it is to file everything and get a nice crisp shape at the end. So I do need the nail beds to be quite a lot bigger than they will be in the finished nails. And that is just so that I've got a wall that I can build up and then I can sort of butt the white gel right up to it and I'm going to get that nice French shape then. So you can see that the nail beds are quite big there. So I'm just showing you me doing two nails and this is what the rest of them look like when they're done with just the nail beds they do look a bit a bit strange if you're not used to this method it does look really weird at first but i found this is the best way to get that perfect french so i'm just now filing the nail bed 
And what you need to do with your file is make sure that you're keeping your file straight and you're keeping it so that you've got a flat wall all around the outside of that nail bed. I'll show you from the side so that when that white goes on, you're not going to have dips and things like that. You're going to have that nice crisp shape. So I've now filed all of the nail beds and this is what they look like. So again, they do look a little bit strange, but don't worry because when the white goes on, it's going to make it all okay. So I'm just going to brush the dust off with my duster brush. Then I'm going to spray with alcohol and then I'm going to brush again. And that gets more of the dust off. But then after that, I am going to go in with a wipe and just make sure that I wipe off any dust that is remaining because you don't want any dust on these nails because you're going in and out with your brush into the pot of gel. You're going to end up with dust not only in your nails, but you'll get dust in your gel as well. So now I am using my detailer brush on this first nail using the white because I want to make sure that I get that gel right up against that nail bed because if you don't and you leave a little air uh, pocket there you can end up with bubbles and you'll get um your nails won't be very strong and they could um, snap at that point so i'm doing that all around the nail bed and then i'm going in with the gel brush again the round brush and i am doing sort of as a thin coat of the gel then I am curing that for 60 seconds and I'm going in with another coat and that will be a little bit thicker you don't want to do it all at the same time because if you do put a really thick layer of the gel on at first you could get heat spikes but not only that it might not cure all the way through because the white is pretty pigmented it's not so bad with a clear gel but if you're doing it with a white you need to make sure you do it in stages so I am putting more gel on than I actually need just so that when I file it there isn't any gaps anywhere and I've made sure that I've, I've covered it all. So if I do make any mistakes and get any gel on the skin I am wiping that off with my clean up brush as well just with some alcohol on it. So I'm doing the same on the middle finger that I did on the pointer finger. And then I'm going in with a final layer and on this final layer I do go over the nail bed a little bit and this is just again to make sure that there are no gaps and it does look really silly at the end because there's far too much gel on but when I filed it they do look nice and crisp and this is how they look when I've done them all. So I'm really happy with the way they turned out and I'm just going to put the no white top coat on now. So that is going to seal in all that gel. And I could have left them like this. I did take some photographs of them like this because I really love the way that they look. But I did want to do a little bit extra on these nails as well because I wanted a spring look and I didn't want the French to just be on its own. So I found this gel so easy to use and I think it would be really good for beginners and for people who already do their own nails. It's just, it, it's so creamy the consistency and that helps it self level really well. It's, um, I can't really explain it. So yeah, they look beautiful as a French and I was tempted to just leave them the way they were. I even liked the way that they look matte, but I decided I wanted to use some of the flower foils that I also got in my last haul. So I'm using the foil gel and I'm putting that on the first nail. I'm doing it one nail at a time so that I don't get foil stuck to nails that I don't want it on. So that foil gel gets cured for in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. And then what I'm doing is I'm very gently pressing the foil into that foil gel. Sometimes you would rub the foil but with this file gel I found the best way and the best application was when I just pressed it very lightly. So you just peel the file back, sort of the clear layer of the file and the image should have stuck to the nail, to the file gel. But if it hasn't and there's some of the image coming off then just fold it back again because it should still be in exactly the same place. So just let it fall back again and then just press it where it's not stuck very gently again until it comes off clear and just keep doing that until you've got all of the image on and then pull the rest of the file off completely. So I hope that made sense. 
so then I'm going in with the base coat and I'm just sealing that in and then I'm going over the top with the no wipe top coat so I just wanted two layers to make sure that that image was protected and it wasn't going to come off So I'm just doing the same thing with the rest of the nails. So on the ring finger, I'm using these yellow tulips. And I really do like the little ladybird that was on the pinky finger. I think that's so cute. So again, I'm just adhering it to that file gel and then I'm lightly pressing it. And this time I use the tweezers with the silicone part on them. And again, I'm, I'm just showing you me putting the base coat on, but I do put a base coat on the image when it's all peeled off and then I go in with the no white top coat as well. I do that on all of the nails. So I really love these Im images and you can see that I've not used the entire foil sheet. I've just cut the images out because I just find it easier to do that. So I will be honest and say that I did have a little bit of trouble with the foil gel not curing and that was, it was really due to my lamp. I don't know what's gone on with it but it's not working the way it should anymore. So I've actually ordered the Kiki London lamp and I'm waiting for that to come. Um, so I did have to cure the foil gel for double the cure time so it would actually work properly. I know that it was my lamp because I did try another foil gel that I really like using and that one didn't work either because of the lamp. So yeah, I'm waiting for that to come. So this is how they look when they're all finished. I absolutely love these nails. Um, and I hope that you liked it too and I hope that you could follow that tutorial um, but yeah I would definitely recommend these gels and these foils I absolutely love this set and yeah now that it's spring it is officially spring now all the flowers are starting to open and everything's starting to grow and I love this time of year so yeah I'm really happy with those so let me know in the comments what you think if you did like this video please give it a like if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing and that is it for this video and I want to just say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!